This is a video on slant, a scratch 1.4 modification compatible with streak. Let's check this out from top to bottom in our usual way. So the first thing is advanced thing settings, or you can say advanced things, which you can see about slant, slant, which is made by Visor. It supports many functions. That's what it's saying. You can check the version. No patch is found. Then go to its website, or even join mesh, which is very common in many modifications. This mesh feature, but in different places you get it. Usually it has a mesh menu, and then you can also do some developer options like turning the freeze screen off for squeak coding or turning the error catching off, saving the image like that. So instead of clicking over here, it will come here, developer mode. So that's all about the auto auto user interface changes. Now let's just look into the block palette itself. So the first thing I can notice is the turn around thing, which will turn around by 90 degree. Means 180 degree. That's what I'm going to say. If it's 90, it will change to minus 90. Means it will change to a negative number. Turning around means totally opposite direction. That's what is going on. And then there's no other blocks in motion. So let's check the controls. Controls 2 has no changes, I think so. Yeah, it has no changes. So we are in costumes, we are in looks. Looks got a new thing called okay, not a new thing. It's very old, but the same. So we got like something like this. You can change your costume by one or even by two. You should skip to the same costume again and again. Means no change is happening. But if you have more costumes, you could use this block, which is very useful. And then that's also something called the color rep graphics ef uh, effect reporter. If you change the graphics effect by 25, you'll report 25. One more time, 50. It's reporting the color effect value. Not only for color effect, but any graphics effect over here. From here. And then there is a clear uh, graphics effect. So that is also something called hidden. So this will check if it's showing. If it's showing, it'll report false. If it's hidden, it'll show. It'll say two showing false, hiding two. That's how this works. So that's all the changes in the looks. Let's look into the sensing. Sensing got hmm no changes. Sounds two are similar. So operators got some changes. We got the exponent exponential operator, and then all these things are same. Okay, we got the if over here. Again, I gotta explain this or something. But sorry if you're so tired of this thing. But I'm just saying to people who never watched it or something, so that you could understand more easily. So let's make a variable. If I say that to like that, we skip it like that. It is one, it is not one. Okay, so this block is not working this version, but just explaining that it would act kind of like the this block. But if you move the condition over here, but you have to put two say blocks instead of one. I hope you understand what's going on here. But this block is buggy because the people who made this didn't develop it properly. That that is the reason why it's like that. And then there's also one more block like this. This is like a double condition block. Means first, if the one first condition is true, then it will check for one more condition. If it's if otherwise, it will also check for other condition. That's what is the meaning of this. So if the first condition is not satisfied, it will check in, it will check the else 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 condition. It's kind of weird, but yeah, that's how it works. And then there's something called world reversed. This would say anything any word you put over here in reverse order. Let's just check for something fun, subscribe reversed. Oh. So please a birk bus. A birk bus? A birks bus, please. Just do that. Just click that. 
then also just to direct the photos there then that's even rounding actually I like like this kind of rounding I just remember that from the first grade max or something I don't even remember when I learned this rounding so if you are in 5 you have to round to the tens that's how it works if you are in the 55 it'll round to 60 actually I like this nearest nearest rounder I wish this should be this should be in scratch but wait it is I think so there's some kind of solution to round it to a particular nearest thing moreover who's gonna use it mostly I don't know and these are the operators the same we got a pi reporter which is not even pi it's just 3.1 where is the 4 so you can put the pen unless put the pen up unless I think this thing is a weird block put the pen up unless maybe I don't know my variable equal to 0 this is gonna be weird and it's created some kind of a random 1 to 200 scenario or like minus 200 duplicate this twice I'm not I'm not having the patience to remember the canvas size actually <laughs> let's test it out and see so this puts the pin up unless the my value is equal to 0 so if you set it to 0 also it's still pin up whatever is the reason so it will do the condition until something would happen So now if you change by one, it's supposed to off the pen, but I think so this is meant for something else. But I didn't understand the point of it, so I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of useful is there. Only the creator could explain it the best actually. But I'm just reviewing all the mods of the olden time, so the creator also may be not interested or maybe not active in scratch itself. But yeah, I've seen a person called SSS who's active still. He's the only person who's very active. He also have helped to get his own mods. Anyways, I'm just reviewing it. And I think so there's no changes anymore. So I think that's all other changes in the mod. Maybe the logo is different and same for the default sprite. That's all other difference. And